G'day! In today's video, I'm replacing a couple of thumb sticks on a DualSense 5 control. Both have got stick drift going on, so I've got my replacement ones here. And I will be using this particular tool right here. And I've had mixed results with it. Um, hasn't been perfect, but little, yeah, the, each time I use it, it gets a little bit more refined on what I'm doing with it. So, so far, I'm going to go with the assumption that you have tore apart one of these before. So I may or may not film the whole thing, but at least I'll show you this in action. Now, the last one that I've done, I had about two or three of them to do in a row, and that was nice and hot to begin with. And from there, I reckon it only took probably about a minute of heating up the board. I was using a PCB holder to hold it. And with that, that was a bit too aggressive. With that PCB holder, it worked rather well. The only issue I had was I had to, um, you have to unsolder the, vib the vibrating motors. So you gotta switch the soldering tip ends because I've only got a single soldering station. So that is slightly annoying, but let it cool down, you swap it over, you get on with life. But if you had a couple of soldering stations and you had a whole bunch of these to do at once, it may be better than the alternative, which is using the heat gun, which is what I typically have been doing with these, with these controllers. But I saw it pop up, thought, what the hell, let's give it a go. And so far, yeah, it's been okay. Uh, disconnect the battery. here there put in here my microphone to come out there we go I'll keep that with this off to the side and we have to disconnect this microphone personally I probably should just leave all microphones disconnected due to privacy privacy <laughs> There you go, that one, just connect it from down there. Bugger. There we go. Now I will snag a quick photo of what I am looking at right now. So I remember the colours. Time to get the soldering on. One thing I also like doing while we're here is adding a little bit more solder to these ones as it does make reattaching them later a bit easier with some leaded solder going on in there. So right now my soldering iron, a Hakko FX951 is at 400 degrees Celsius and it will get there in just a moment. Uh, no, we're already there. Brilliant. Add some solder to here. And I'll grab my tweezers. Move that out of the way. And I'll just go through and add it on all of them to begin with. Uh, here. Here, working way back. One, two, three, one, two, three. So weirdly, this part here almost feels like it takes longer than the actual swapping of the thumbsticks. And then there's a particular website you can go to to use to calibrate your replacement one so it's dead center. And yeah, that works rather well. I've got the website, PS4GUI, I think it is. 
or at least I've used it for the PS4. I'm assuming there's a PS5 equivalent. Um, there we go. Now, there to here. I'll take that off so it doesn't get lost. Put that back in there. These two can come off. One, two. Turn the soldering station off. And now from here, I'll lock this into my PCB holder. find it works well better so basically heat it up first once it's all heated up and good pull the old one out and while I'm still heating it up reinsert the new one rather than letting it cool down letting it cool down tends to give it grief so I'd much rather keep it toasty and work on each port individually so I'm gonna go if it should have dropped a bit in temperature now and it's still slightly hot. What I like to do then is get it latched on one of these. No, it's not going to let me. I'll just have to wait. So, this cooled down in the space of about a minute, if that. Now I'm heating up this sucker. So I'm going to wait, spend some time waiting for this to heat up. And once that gets tacky and hot, and put some flux on here and hopefully lock that into a better position so it doesn't give me any grief. Mm. I don't want to have it right on the edge because if it's right on the edge it's just gonna, and I apply pressure, it's just going to bend. Uh, if I have it there, actually I might be able to get away with having it there. See. Nope, we are still cold. I'll be back in a moment. Now we're now we're cooking. Watch this. Basically rest that on the right orientation and just let it cook. Be a better way to come across this. I'd imagine a certain PCB holder for these, where essentially you could just have this bracket held into place and you could just put the soldering iron on, forget it, leave it, and then pull out the and basically let it heat up for a couple of minutes and then take it out. Um, so right now, I'm just letting it heat up. Slightly impatient. Um, but basically just leave it to do its thing. Where the heat gun here, it does feel like you are doing more because you're able just to blast it with heat and hold it and you can put as much heat as you want in there. Where this, I'd rather do it a little bit more controlled being it's making full contact with the board. There we go. Whoop. I can wiggle it out now. Might need my pair of tweezers. I've just got thermal paste on my hand. God dang it. And due to the sheer size of this, it does actually get the heat rising off it does actually get very warm to on your fingers. And now I've lost my orientation. There we go, that's where I need to be. The right amount of flux on there, you can actually hear it sizzling it, cooking it. So 
And we're off. Bingo. Now this is where it gets slightly tricky. So the technique that I found is if I rotate it and then have it on an angle and don't bring in too many of those fumes. Right, there we go, that's old. Here's my new. Put that on here. Proceed to keep heating it up. I could even use a solder sucker right now to help clean that out. Which in theory can work. Or the impatient person in us can simply hold it there and try and push the new one back in. Which means it's going to be harder than it originally anticipated. And as I think about going into my solder sucker, it's on the other side of the room. Not within arm's reach. So that is a tad disappointing. You can see the soldering st the solder starting to melt here. So I'm going to try and do the cheap method. Feed it and push. quite lining up the way they need to. I don't know if I've bumped the pins on the pots and they're not quite right. I'm just going to bend them out slightly. We get my solder sucker while I'm thinking about it. But here's where having that second soldering arm would be handy. You could just introduce more heat at certain points. That's not super smooth, this job. Now the potential is my soldering iron may need to go hotter again, but I don't believe more heat will necessarily help in this. It would have more chance of just damaging the circuit board. As I, I'm using 400 degrees Celsius. So now it feels like those pins are lining up. Go. That's starting to go in some of them. Over here, though. Right, it's starting to go in now. At the same time, it's also burning my fingers because I've got to push on metal to make it go in. So I think I'll just go to solder sucking approach. Last time I used this, this did go a bit more successfully. Where well, it has not this time. Okay. Abandon that side for now. Go over to side number two and see if I can just simply remove it. And then I'll probably change over my soldering tip and you and once I've cleaned this all out, then just retin the rest of them. That's going to be a quicker method than trying to heat up the area as a whole. So it's a bit hit and miss. In theory, I thought it would work a bit better than it did, where the last one I worked on. I managed to swap it over within 
what it felt like three minutes each side. And this side, not so much. It's heating up now. There we go. So that one just came out nice and easy. We'll just hold it in place and try to replace it. Heat up a little bit longer now. So as I said, that other one was battling. That one just nearly went straight in. I think any of the pins were bent. I'll leave that on there for another few minutes or another 30 seconds or so. In theory, I should just be able to push the rest of it in just like that. Look at that. There we go. I'll let go. We're now installed. So you can see how easy it is to do, how it can potentially be easy to do. Where? Cool down. No, we're still very hot to the touch. Can I click? Yep. Might be not quite as even as I would like it to be on, this, on the board. A little bit sitting up at the back here. But overall, that was almost a straight swap instantly, as you saw. So, yeah, I'll proceed with it for now. Um, see if I can just push this in a little bit further. But it can potentially be a useful tool. So I'm not going to really cover it too much more in this video. As you saw, you can have one where it comes out almost instantly, and then you have one where you've got to battle the whole thing to do it or at least to be able to remove it and reinsert it in the same motion. Usually keeping that area hot will help. There we go, toasting, 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 toasting. Try and push, no. Where are we? Have we got the orientation right? Yep. You definitely see the difference of it being in a good position versus it being in a, in a not so good position. Now I'm happy with that, bingo. All I needed was that little extra push for it to shrink in, close that gap. Now I'm perfectly content with that. Nice, that's where I want it to be. Let's checking out the solder underneath. See where it's heated up the board, a bit of flux, a bit of melted, I don't know what it is, the shine off the PCB. This one I will clean up before I do anything further. But I'm gonna swap the ends over, use a solder sucker to clean that up, put leaded solder in there and that side I'm perfectly content with. So, it is a rather interesting tool. Um, it can speed up the process, but overall I'm not sure how well it's going to do that. But for the price of them, they're not bad to have in your arsenal. Anyway, I'll probably give it about a C plus or a B minus in how effective it is. Now yeah, that's going to take considerably longer than my last one to cool down. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.